Hi, this is Ryan Ponce and welcome to my macro tutorial. In this video, we're going to talk about recording and running a simple macro. First, you have to ensure that the developer tab is out or visible. If it's not, you can go to File, Options, Customize Ribbon, and tick the box for developer. Let's record our first macro. So once you're in developer tab, you can click on record macro. Macro name will be my first macro. Shortcut key, I'll put a Control shift g Now, you have to be very careful with the shortcut key because you might be using an existing shortcut key in Excel. Control n for an example, will create a new workbook. So you might want to avoid using N. Or you can use any other letters and just combine it with a Control shift and the letter. You can store the macro in personal workbook, new workbook, and this workbook. But in this video, we're just going to store it in this workbook. Now, description is optional. You can leave it blank. Once you click OK, the macro starts recording. Now you can stop the macro by clicking on this one. But let's record a simple command. I'm putting my name, and I'll stop the macro. Now I'll go to another cell, for example, H10. I'll be pressing Control Shift G. And it's putting my name. Let's try another cell. Uh, let's try O. O5. Control Shift G. My name's there again. So, that's recording and running a simple macro. Thanks for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more macro tutorials.